Shalom, shalom. Giving honor and praise unto the Most High, the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth. This presentation is not going to be long, but we just want to go over something for Hebrew edification. When you see this here, it's the Aleph, the Mem, the Nun. All right, in modern terms, they would say Nun Sophie. This right here simply is an arrow saying from one to the other. This is the Aleph, the Mem, and the Nun, and what they refer to as ancient Hebrew. Now, the reason why I say what they refer to as brothers, sisters, many would say Paleo Hebrew, P A L E O. Nonetheless, the word Paleo simply is from the Greek word meaning ancient. The word Paleo means ancient. So that's all that is. It's not really much deeper than that. All right? So, now, this right here, spelling the word Amen. All right? This is where you get in the English transliteration from Amen. All right? Now, brothers and sisters, we see this in the scriptures in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27. Now, in the book of Numbers, in the Bible, chapter 12, verse 7, we see this word here. All right? For edification purposes. And within its ancient would be as so. All right. Now, what this word here spells is the word ne'eman. Ne'eman. And what this means is faithful. Now, let's break this down. The word amen in Hebrew, it means to support and it also means to be faithful. So basically, in theory, when you're supporting something, you're faithful. When you're faithful, you're supporting something. It's something shown in an action. You understand once it comes down into that. Now, I just wanted to use these at this particular moment because there's a theory in a teaching that says that the Hebrew word amen comes from Egyptian, which it does not. And we just want to point that out for reason and purposes. All right. Let's look at this here, okay? Just want to show it a bit clearer within this book here. This here in the Hebrew is Amen. This here in Egyptian is Imun. There is no A in this. The A in Egyptian is shown as the bird or the vulture and hieroglyphics or what they call metuneta. But we don't see that in there. And this is Imun. Not Amen. In Egyptian, that word means hidden. H-I-D-D-E-N. We already explained, brothers and sisters, that in the Hebrew, this right here means to be faithful or to support. So not only is the meaning different, the pronunciation is different because the languages between the two are different. All right. So that's what we want to emphasize in that particular case. Another matter, brothers and sisters, concerning this situation here is when you go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, we see this word here, all right, and I'm going to write it on top. All right, Ne'emana. That's in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 21. And that's translated there as the word faithful. All right? Ne'emana. All right? Now, this is talking about the city of Jerusalem. And if you want to point out for reason and purposes, you have the Kwamats in the hay, showing in many cases, as in this, the aspect of it being feminine. Because in Hebrew, brothers and sisters, it's feminine. When you go into this particular aspect, the city, Jerusalem, which is part of the earth, is treated in a feminine and Hebraic thought. So this is something we want to point out in that particular case. So right here we see Ne'emana, Aleph Menno, Aleph Menno, Aleph Menno. It does not drop off. All right. So recapping, Numbers chapter 12, verse 7, you have Ne'eman, speaking of Moses, as faithful. You have Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 27, 
right? And that's talking about the aspect of agreeing and or supporting. And then this right here, in my nine, is the feminine of this, all right? So, and that's in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 21. So we just want to point that out and show for reason and purposes what we're talking about. All righty, the description of this video will have my contact info. Don't want to make this a very long or tedious video, but just wanted to point that out for reason and purposes. All right, because there are even sadly Israelites who are saying we shouldn't say amen. And this is why we want to emphasize this even to the house of Israel and abroad. All right, shalom.